Hi, how you doing? Today, I figured it would be kind of interesting for some guys. When I was buying my hook truck, I didn't really see anything on YouTube that showed how to use it or anything. So I figured it would be kind of interesting to show you guys um, my new hook lift and how it operates and, and all the components of it. And hopefully this video won't be too boring because I'm not a professional. So I'll uh, start now. So <clears throat> we do dumpsters and other things, but there's a dumpster on there. And there is the truck. I'll try to get a full view of the truck here. And there's the truck. And uh, there's the dumpster. And we just delivered the dumpster. And the way there wasn't a lot of things on YouTube that, that was pretty clear on how they operated and stuff. So I'll just try to go over it. And this is called what's a single articulating hook lift. And that means that if you see right here, that it just articulates in one um, fashion. And you'll see it doesn't specifically dump like a dump truck. It more or less comes off like unique to a hook lift. So I'll show you that when I turn on the hook lift. Um, if, if anyone's interested, um, this is a toolbox that is not standard. Um, American Palfinger is unique. They have hand controls outside. I'm trying to stay out of the sun, guys. Sorry about the sun glare. Um, American. And um, there, I got it um, built right at the manufacturer in New Jersey. So it was um, real, pretty slick, um, pretty pretty cool place. They were they um, do a really really nice clean install on it. So there there's the hook lift. Um, there's two, I'm gonna walk around on the other side for you. This way you guys, I don't want to know if the sun is in your eyes. Um, so there it is. Okay, I think we got a better shot on this side. Um, they moved the gas tank for me. They put the fenders on. Um, this was just a cabin chassis when it was done. You can see these massive rams. This is a 20,000 pound hook lift. <clears throat> they did a really nice job. The guys down at um, American, super nice. And I couldn't be more pleased. They, they just did a, a stellar job on it. Um, there's the uh, there's the back of it. They do a great job. I mean, you could just see the, the, the thickness of the steel here. It's like thicker than, like, thicker than my thumb. So they did a really good job. Uh, and I'm going to show everyone how they operate and, and what happens. Let me go inside. <clears throat> There's the, um, my, my console. I put some switches in. They hooked it right up to my auxiliary. Um, I wired it, put CB in. There's the two hand controls right here. Being on a trash truck, I have electrical disconnect. And... I got three 12 volts for the um, for the cigarette lighters, you know, for the um, GPS, phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, there it is here again. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to give the camera <clears throat> to my assistant, and then I'll start it up, and then um, show everyone how it operates. I'll do the exterior hand controls. It's the same exact thing inside those two hand controls as it is. And then um, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, hold on there.
Now, if you notice, back at the back. Here, let me take the camera. If you notice, um, the, this is called a single articulating. And if you notice, the can, if you were to take it off, actually hits the ground before it would dump. And I'm going to show you how to dump this um, pry if you wanted to dump garbage. So the ne my next thing I'm going to show you is how to dump with um, with uh, dumping a load out, and um, you're going to see the boom extend. This boom will actually extend, and I'll, as if I'm dumping the garbage out at the dump. Now, if you notice, the, 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 the trash can actually lifted higher off the ground prior to it hitting the ground. Now I would be able to lift it higher and it would dump. So I'm going to call jib it back in, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stow the can. Now, if you notice, I had to jib it back in, and that's what's called hitting the locks on the can. Now the can's locked in, and I'm ready to go. I would just have to tarp it, and I'll show you the locks underneath. <clears throat> the reason you have to move it back in like that is because there's locks under here. And if you notice, they end here, and then they go back, and there's the lock. So when I extended it out, <clears throat> the when 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 you push the can back first, it misses the lock and then you're able to tilt it. So if anyone's interested in a single articulating can, that's the only drawback to it is that it doesn't dump like a dump truck, but it's pretty nice. I think um, it, it works pretty well. Anyway, hope I didn't bore you too much with my video. Hope it helps some questions out for people. And another thing too, um, the, 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 the hand controls that I use right there, are they're just extra. I just did that for the video. Normally I just operate it from the truck. Okay, see you later.